tonight we do have a rare total lunar eclipse. This is the first total lunar eclipse visible in the United States since 2022. Totality is going to occur between 226 and 331 Eastern Standard Time. Pardon me, Eastern Daylight mm, Time. There you go. Now that we've pushed forward. Yeah, with such a rare event, we wanted to bring in an expert to break down the eclipse. Joe Rayo, associate guest lecturer at the Hayden Planetari Planetarium, rather, joins us now to break down this eclipse. It's always great to see you. We love when we have this conversation with you because this has the attention of so many out there across the country. It's great, really, because we're in a perfect spot for the country. We're all so used to seeing the full moon shining brightly in our sky, but... For about 66 minutes late tonight or in the wee hours of Friday morning, the moon is going to shine like a uh, weird glowing coppery ball as it is immersed in the dark shadow, the umbral shadow of the earth. And it, it, it's not, I know it's an interesting sight. It's not really a rare event. Uh, on average, for most places, you see a total eclipse of the moon about once every two or three years. But when it does come, you've you really want to get a look at it because it again is a very very beautiful and unusual sight to see yeah especially for the united states absolutely when's the next viewing for the united states because obviously this particular lunar eclipse it's, it's perfect for north america and south america so when's the next shot for us if we miss it because of cloud cover well it's interesting to point out that uh th this eclipse will be visible from the western hemisphere north and south america we're going to have another total eclipse of the moon in september but that will be visible on the opposite side of the globe for the eastern hemisphere for asia and for africa and uh japan so the places that will not be able to see this eclipse tonight because it's the wrong time of the day for them mm -hmm. they will get their chance in about six months when the moon uh, moves into the earth shadow once again and i'll be based on the rotation all that's going on with the planets right well, yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, I I was uh, talking to somebody just the other day and I said, you know, uh, as you mentioned, this is going to be visible here in the east in the wee hours of the morning, 2, 3 a.m. Mm -hmm. But I hope everybody out there gets a chance to look at it and see it. One thing I'd like to think will happen will be that a lot of parents with young children, mm -hmm. before yes. they go to bed tonight, take, take your child outside, show them the moon as it appears in the normal away in the sky mm -hmm. and then wake them up at two or three in the morning mm -hmm. when the moon is in totality. <laughs> I think, I, I honestly believe that that's going to be something that that kid is going to remember for the rest of his life, being up at the I agree. Moon, I think you're right. hour, two or three in the morning and seeing that weird looking moon again, immersed in the shadow of the earth. And, and here's the great inspire part. inspire some young scientists. Yeah, you never know. And the best part, it's not like a solar eclipse where you need special glasses to look at it. No, you just look you up. you can just look up in the sky. It's so easy. And it's a longer duration. You have about an hour to enjoy it. For West Coasters, maybe a little easier to show it to the kids is, of course, the timing's <laughs> better for them. Hawaii probably has the best timing where there's actually in the, in the evening time, 8 to 9 p.m. instead of what we'll be dealing with here on the East Coast. Uh, you know, Joe, for you, what is the most exciting celestial event? Uh, obviously, we're talking about the lunar eclipse, but if you can just sort of put a, a cherry on top, if you could pick your favorite one, what would it be? Oh, well, for me, I think uh, the, uh, the top is the uh, total eclipses of the sun, which mm -hmm. are absolutely magnificent. Um, the lunar eclipses are interesting, but they don't really carry a lot of science with them. Uh, they're, they're not as... Uh, spectacular as a, as a total eclipse of the, of the sun, but still an interesting sight to see because it's, a, it's, a, it, it's an eerie and unearthly sight to see the moon shining again like a red ball in the sky. And by the way, since this is Fox weather, we got to talk about briefly the weather on the moon. When that shadow comes rolling across the lunar surface, the temperatures, you talk about a flash freeze, the temperature before the eclipse is going to be about 200 degrees above zero on the lunar surface. When that shadow comes by, Within a matter of like 30 minutes to an hour, the temperature is going to fall to about, well, 150 to 200 Ooh. below. So we're a two <laughs> yeah. or 300 degree drop in temperature in just a very, very short little bit of time on the, uh, on the lunar surface. Also a great nugget to share with your kids when you watch it. We'll just imagine, you know, visuals of the day after tomorrow. Joe Rayo, thank you so much for joining us. I mean, yeah. this is such a cool event that's going to be taking place. Very awesome. Absolutely. Don't miss it. If you, you get, set that alarm, get outside, take a look. It's, a, it's more, more to life than going into Manhattan and making a buck. This is like smelling the roses.
Thank you so much. I think much. Joe just told us not to show up to work. <laughs> I love it. I'm Joe, a... Rayo, good to good see you. Good to see you. Take Have care. a great day. Enjoy the lunar eclipse. Uh, by the way, if Thank cloud you, cover girl. is going to be a threat for you, don't worry, because we have the best view of this. The exclusive Fox Weather stream will be looking at the lunar eclipse from 11 p.m. tonight all the way through totality. You can also stream it on your Fox Weather YouTube page. We got you covered with the best view in America of the total lunar eclipse. Again, it all starts tonight at 11 p.m. Eastern time.